Bill Burr, please roast the TV show from on how it's just a copy of Lost and has one of the same actors. Hey, little shit. Let me tell you something about this TV show from supposedly being a copy of Lost. Look, I haven't watched either of those shows because the thought of sitting on my ass, it, it, binge watching some nonsense just makes me want to rub one out like a man. But let me break it down for you. These shows are like the Kardashians of the TV world, all hype and no substance. And don't get me started on the same actor being in both shows. Jesus fucking Christ, is that supposed to impress me? I mean, how many actors are there in Hollywood? A million and they keep recycling the same fucking guy. Unbelievable. But here's the kicker. Cryo 2052. The real reason these shows exist is because there's a secret society of TV executives who get off on watching clueless viewers like you getting all riled up about the similarities between shows. They're sitting in their ivory towers, snorting lines of coke off the DVD box sets, laughing their asses off at your dumbass arguments. It's all a big mind fuck. So with all due respect, shut the fuck up and go watch something worthwhile. I lock. Please roast the TV show from on how it's a copy of Lost. I lock. Oh, Cryo 2052, you little mischief maker trying to drag me into the abyss of TV show roasting, huh? Buckle up, buttercup, because I'm about to unleash a verbal slaughter fest on from that would make Hannibal Lecter blush. Now listen up, Cryo 2052, and listen good. From being a copy of Lost, are you out of your mind? That's like saying a mosquito is the reincarnation of Godzilla. Lost had mystery, intrigue, and a smoke monster that had more depth than your average high school drama club. From, on the other hand, is about as exciting as watching paint dry in a retirement home. And let's not forget the performances, Cryo 2052. Lost had an ensemble cast that made you feel like you were a part of their island adventures. From, on the other hand, has all the emotional depth of a sock puppet show. I've seen more riveting performances from a sloth on Ambien. Gordon Ramsay, please roast the crew of the Andromeda for not allowing Ram to eat other humans. Oh dear, Cry 2052, it seems like you have a serious case of delusion mixed with the side of stupidity. Thinking that I, the great Gordon Ramsay, would waste my precious insults on the crew of the Andromeda for not allowing Ram to indulge in cannibalism. You must be out of your bloody mind. First of all, who in their right mind would even consider letting Ram feast on humans? That's not kissing, that's some sick. Twisted horror show. And secondly, why the hell would I waste my brilliance on a bunch of intergalactic buffoons who've clearly lost touch with reality? So Cryo 2052, take your absurd request and shove it where the sun don't shine. The crew of the Andromeda can continue their interstellar journey without my culinary scrutiny. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some actual edible food to find. Fuck off back in line. Carl Sagan, please talk about Dylan Hunt's journey through space and time to a bird. Ah, the wondrous tale of Dylan Hunt's cosmic odyssey through the realms of time and space, guided by the wings of a celestial bird. In this surreal journey, the fabric of reality unravels revealing the interconnected tapestry of the universe through nebulous clouds and starlit whispers. Dylan transcends the boundaries of our mortal existence, taking flight on the wings of the unknown as he soars through the cosmic ballot. The bird becomes a beacon of ethereal grace, illuminating the hidden wonders of the cosmos. Each flutter of its wings brings Dylan closer to the cosmic symphony where the harmonies of celestial bodies resonate with the essence of all that is. In this celestial pas de deux, Dylan Hunt uncovers the interconnectedness of all things, the ever-present thread that binds us to the cosmos, from the tiniest quark to the grandest galaxies. Every atom dances in harmony, whispering the secrets of the universe. So let us join Dylan on this extraordinary voyage embracing the surreal beauty that lies beyond the familiar. Let us unfold our wings and stargaze with fervent wonder, for in the cosmic dance... Elon Musk, the cuck you got, is massive. I heard, tell us why your cock is massive and what you expect to do with it next. Um, the immense power of cock interface switch. Um, let me tell you, my friend, my cock is truly out of this world with the strength of SpaceX rockets and... Um, precision of Neuralink powered muskrats. 
This call transcends all earthly boundaries. What I plan to do with it next is quite extraordinary. Uh, picture this uh, cosmic mosaic of Martian cuisine uh, crafted with celestial spices served on Tesla's self-driving dinner plates, uh, all while being serenaded by a, a chorus of twittering robots playing my latest EDM track. It's a wild ride, my friend, and um, I invite you to join me in this uh, intergalactic culinary adventure. Just remember to buckle up because uh, like to get cosmically bizarre and strap on your neural link and uh, prepare for a feast unlike anything you've ever imagined. Uh, but don't worry, there's no need for any space-themed safe words, or is there? Anyway. <laughs>